Hello, welcome back. Thank you for being here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dimension this, dimension this uh, wall, and uh, again, just go through the steps. And I think we pretty much belabored that enough by now. But I want to get this wall in place and maybe extend it over here so we have the ability to put it on our floor. I'd like to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to show you how to do some, uh, maybe some editing uh, functions in regard to uh, uh, walls here, because that could be kind of tricky too. The trim tool isn't as sophisticated as AutoCAD is, where you can just press a couple keys and the thing's all trimmed out. It takes a little bit more thought in Revit to do that. And there's some extra tools involved with this too. So I'd like to show you that too. So let's go go to this dimension. Again, uh, to make that a permanent dimension, we're going to click on that symbol. Take our dimension, grip, and move that up here. If you have nothing to grab onto, it just stays back where it was. But remember the tab button. We want to put that out to the outside. Take that dimension, order, organize it, put it in the proper order here, and put this one on the inside of that wall. And then when we click on that wall, we can change the value of that dimension. And this dimension is going to be 16 feet 8 inches. So 16 single quote 8, enter. And that's that. I'm going to take this dimension and move it over here. It isn't quite true to the apartment, but I don't want to do the whole apartment because you're going to have to do that in class, and I'll let you do that. So there you have it. There's our dimensions. It actually goes together pretty easy once you learn the scheme and how to, how to dimension these things. So let's do some wall trimming. This is a pretty easy one. This needs to be a closet in here, so we're going to take this uh, line and just drag it to that line. Automatically trims it up. It isn't any easier than that. Uh, you can do something very similar in AutoCAD, but a lot of times you have to do the stretch command to do something like that, especially if you're dealing with more than one line. And uh, just for the fun of it, let's take this and move this down to the, the bottom wall. I, I, I know it's not supposed to be that way, but let's say we're trying to define a closet here and we want this open. And if you go up to the Trim tool, if you go to the Modify tool, or tab, and go to the Trim tool, which is this Trim Extend the Corner, uh, this is okay, but it does take a little bit of iteration. Let's say we want to take this wall and maybe turn a corner over here and it kind of disappears and not really what we want, not really the trim option that we want. So let's do undo here. Here's another one. It's called the split element button. Because what we really want to do is have this wall stop here, gap here, and then continue on in this side. The split element works actually pretty well. So if we can split the element, what it does is it gives us a, a symbol that kind of looks like an exacto knife. And cut that across. <laughs> we'll cut it here. What it does is it splits that wall. It maintains that wall co planarness in a way. But we can take that wall and just uh, move it back. And that trims it up there. So that, that's a kind of a convenient tool. And do the split tool, the split element tool, and then just take that wall and move it back. Then you're in pretty good shape there. We're not going to complete this uh, completely, but I did want to show you how to do that. And let's say we have another wall in here. We maybe we want to take that wall and actually trim it around the corner. That's where this trim tool would work the trim extend the corner. Click on this guy, click on that guy. Yeah. yeah, and it's not trimming. Oh, you know why? It's because we have three different walls here. We have this wall, we have that wall, and that wall. So we can, could delete that wall and take this wall and move it uh, forward like that. Now we can trim around the corner. AutoCAD does that very same thing. It's not very intuitive in that respect. So that's one way to do that. And let's say we have another wall in here, just for demonstration, just to show you some trim options in here. I know this is incorrect. Whoops, what happened there? Planted in the place and then escape would be fine. Uh, when we go to the trim, uh, one of the trim options, which is this next one, trim, extend, single element, which is very similar to the double element. Let's do the single element first. Let's say we want to tri use our trim uh, tool as a reference. Remember how we did this in AutoCAD, where we picked the reference first? The difference between Revit and AutoCAD is that when we pick our trim reference, the next thing we want to click on is what we want to keep, not what we want to trim. In AutoCAD, it was what we wanted to trim, and it take, takes it away from us. But now we have to define what we want to keep. So if we did it the AutoCAD way, you click on this thing, oop, all of a sudden the wall misses over here, gives us some errors. Let's go to cancel and go back and do that again. So think about this line being our trim reference. It's highlighted in blue. Click on the wall or the element that you want to keep, which is going to be that one. To repeat, let's take away this wall over here. That's our trim reference. And if we click down here, it's going to keep this and get rid of that. But what we want to do is keep this and get rid of that. 
which we just did. And we can take this and extend this over. Okay, that's enough for this video. I think in the next video we'll go ahead and put in a floor, put in some doors and windows, and we'll keep going.